Let's install Oxygen OS 11 from the OnePlus 8 with FOD on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. What's up peeps, Munchy here, back with another video. And as you can see, we do have the Redmi K20 Pro, which right now is running MIUI 12 based on Android 10. However, at the end of this video, we will be running Oxygen OS 11 based on Android 11 from the OnePlus 8 with working FOD on our device. Now, what are the prerequisites? Well, for starters, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Next up, you need an unlocked bootloader and you need to have a custom recovery installed. How do you do that? We have separate videos for both of those, which can be found in the description of this video. Next thing you need to know is whether your device is encrypted or not. So for MIUI, you will go into settings, password and security and privacy. As you can see, encryption and credentials. It says my phone is not encrypted. Now, those of you who are on custom ROMs based on AOSP, you will go into settings and go into security, scroll down, tap on advanced. You can see this device here is encrypted. Now, why do you need to know whether your device is encrypted or not? Well, if your device is encrypted, again, if your device is encrypted, then you will have to perform a format data, which means you're going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. So let me repeat myself one more time. If your device is encrypted, then you need to perform a format data next up what are the files which we need now all the files which we need are linked in the description of this video and here on screen are the files which you need so you need fod fix for oxygen os 11 then you need the oxygen os 11 system file the vendor file and you also need a specific version of orange fox recovery and you also need a vb meta image file links to all of these can be found in the description of this video next thing go into settings password and security remove all the security measures which include screen fingerprint and face unlock once that is done go back go into me account remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you've removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all these accounts and security measures we're doing this because we're going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next thing we need to do is boot into our custom recovery so turn the device off press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the custom recovery logo and i do have twrb recovery installed so that is the logo which i should see on my screen and here it is team win recovery project if you get this screen never show this message and then swipe to allow modifications once we have booted into our custom recovery first thing we need to do is install the version of orange fox so we will go into install and then go into download because we downloaded the files on our phone directly and they are in the download folder in case you transfer them from your computer you would know where they are and the first thing we are going to do is select the orange fox file and then swipe to confirm flash and once the file has flashed successfully it will automatically reboot into recovery now in case you already have orange fox installed there will be no harm if you flash this specific zip file one more time and here it is orange fox boot logo in the building and our device should now boot into orange fox recovery there it is we are again getting the message about unmodified system partition so never show this message again check mark and then swipe to allow modifications welcome to orange fox tap on the check mark first thing we need to do is flash the modified vb meta file so we are in the sd card or internal storage going to download select the vb meta image file and here you have different options the option which we need to select is vb meta and in brackets image and then swipe to install image so image flash was completed without any issues tap on the home button now we will go into the third option which is your delete icon tap here select dalvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe once this is done tap on the home button now first option which is files and 
now we need to flash the files so the first file which you're going to select is the system file add to queue select the oxygen os 11 vendor file and then swipe to install once the files have flashed successfully we can scroll up a little make sure there were no errors so here it is we are flashing the oxygen os 11 system file verifying installation installation was successful then it is flashing the vendor file for oxygen os 11 again verifying it installation was successful then tap on the home button and now we are going to select the fod fix file and then swipe to flash it and there it is the fod fix file was installed successfully next up tap on the home button and now those of you whose device was encrypted you need to perform a format data and no you cannot do this without a format data if your device was encrypted so you'll have to go into the third option format data type in yes and then tap on the check mark on the bottom right of the keyboard as i mentioned earlier format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device so make sure you have a backup of all those things for me my device was decrypted so we can tap on the home button tap on the three bar menu on the bottom right and select reboot so here it is reboot and select system now before you ask me why did i not flash disable force encryption well that is baked into the oxygen os 11 port itself so flashing disable force encryption explicitly on a decrypted device is not needed again flashing disable force encryption on a device which is already decrypted is not needed for this specific port and as you can see on your screen we do have the oxygen os boot animation on our redmi k20 pro which means our device is booting into oxygen os 11 and the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we have successfully booted into oxygen os and we are now on the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick and now that we are on the home screen let us go into settings about phone here it is one plus eight android version is 11 and this of course is oxygen os beta the build name is new moon let us now go ahead and set up the FOD. So we'll go into settings, security and lock screen, fingerprint unlock, fingerprint plus pen. And we did re-enter our pen. So let us confirm this guy and show all notification content. Done. Fingerprint function declaration. Next. Do not show again. Okay. Press and make your fingerprint cover the fingerprint identification area as much as possible then lift after you feel a vibration so i'm not sure whether you can see or not but you do have a green icon here it is so let me do that and you won't see anything but it is registering so after some time it will tell me to do the edge input here it is edge input and then you need to enter the edge input and here it is fingerprint was added successfully tap on done and this is the green icon i was talking about it should disappear once you reboot your device and a pro tip here is that make sure you use a light background and another pro tip is join their group and read the note about fod i will mention it in the pinned comment you can make a few tweaks if you edit the prop file and use whatever mod you want to use so either you can have the mod wherein the screen lights up a little when you use your fod and then the other one is where the screen does not light up and both of them have their drawbacks and advantages which are again mentioned in their group and there it is peeps we have successfully installed oxygen os 11 from the oneplus 8 with working fod on our redmi k20 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you